water, the most vital substance on earth, a necessity for almost all living things, a medium for almost all biochemical reactions in living things. 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water, but only 2.5% of the water is fresh water. And do you know that the sea water that you are watching right now cannot be used for domestic use and for drinking? This is because untreated water proves to be a risk for humans. In this video, you will learn how this seawater can be treated into pure water that you are using in your daily life. Hello everyone, my name is Jiver and I will guide you throughout this video. Thousands of years ago, technological advances was flourishing and the most important tool of the age was aqueduct. This component of water purification was used by the Minoans Assyrians and famous Romans from 300 BC. It is used to bring water from fresh lakes to their capitals. Having aqueduct meant that people could have clean water for generations. It was not until 1804 when Robert Tom designed the first municipal water treatment plant which involved sand filtration. Also in 1854, John Snow discovered the cause of the cholera outbreak, which was contamination by sewage. He applied chlorine to the infected water, killing all microorganisms in it, leading to water disinfection treatment. However, chlorination can be harmful to human beings because chlorine vaporizes faster than pure water, leading to negative quality and respiratory diseases. That is why in 1902, calcium hypochlorite and ferric chloride was used as an alternative for coagulation and disinfection. Yes, that's accurate. In the present, many leading countries like the USA, Great Britain and Singapore contributes much to the research in improving water treatment methods without having bacterial infections again. In the era of technology, mankind offers the best ways to supple themselves with our basic necessity. There are many ways to purify water, which are through filtration, desalination, aqueducts, chlorination, and coagulation. However, there is another method of purification that became the backbone of our water treatment process today. Discovered by the physicist Jean-Antoine Ollet in 1748, reverse osmosis is a filtration process that used the concept of osmotic pressure. But how does it work? One of the most important components in reverse osmosis plant is the semi-permeable membrane. Let's talk about how it plays a major role in reverse osmosis. Water would usually move from a higher water potential to a lower one through a membrane. Now, if we apply pressure to the side with lower water potential, you will get the reverse effects. A semi-permeable membrane is used and fixed in between the high and low water potential sections to filter impurities as water now moves from lower water potential to higher water potential. Therefore, the impurities will be eliminated and clean purified water is produced. Now, let us proceed with the whole process in reverse osmosis. Reverse Osmosis RO, goes through four stages. The first stage is the filtering of sediment, dirt, and silt from water coming from the cold water line valve at the pre-filter section. This will prevent the bigger solid from damaging the delicate RO membrane. The next stage is the removal of chlorine and contaminants by carbon filter. Hence, the performance of RO membrane can be maintained as well as improving the taste and odor of water. The third stage occurs at the RO membrane, the heart of reverse osmosis. 90% to 98% of foreign particles can be removed by the membrane. 
after water flows through the membrane, it will be stored in a pressurized storage tank. The storage tank can hold up from 2 to 4 gallons of water. The last stage is the further filtration of water from the storage tank by carbon filter at the post filter, where water is polished and improved in terms of its taste and odor before it is distributed to the consumers. Reverse osmosis is being used globally and the technology is continually innovated and experimented as it is considered the people's number one choice of water purification. Next time you have a drink of water, please think of the innovation and the experimentation that caused scientists to successfully found a way to purify your drinking water. Thank you.